Installing your G squared is easy. All you need to do is follow these simple steps. G squared can be installed with a C wire or without a C wire using the included power bridge. In this video, you'll learn how to install your G squared with the C wire. If you don't have a C wire, please refer to our separate tutorial on installing your G squared with the included power bridge. Before diving into the installation process, check to make sure the following is in the box. You should have your green light G-squared smart thermostat, the power bridge, a trim plate, two screws, two wall anchors, and wiring labels. If something is missing, be sure to contact green light tech support so that you can be provided with a replacement. Now that you've identified the items in the box, you'll need the following tools to be ready for installation. Have on hand a drill a Phillips screwdriver, a wire stripper, and your smartphone. Next, download the Greenlight Thermostat app from the App Store or the Google Play Store, depending on your smartphone device. After the app is downloaded, open it up and create an account. Now, set your phone aside and turn off the power to your heating and cooling system before performing any wiring. Confirm your system is powered down by changing the temperature on your thermostat and listening to the ventilation system. If it doesn't make a sound and if you don't feel air exiting your vents, that means you're powered down. Remove the front of your old thermostat from its base. If you see thick black wires, wire nuts, or any labels that say 120 to 240 VAC or high voltage, your system is not compatible with G-squared. If you do not see any of these, you can continue with the installation process. Start by taking a picture of your current wiring to use as a reference later in the installation process. Now that you're ready to begin the wiring process, confirm that your old thermostat has one of the following wiring configurations. Conventional one heat, one cool, Y, G, W, R, C. Conventional two heat, one cool, Y, G, W, W, 2, R, C single stage heat pump, Y, G, R, O, B, C, auxiliary heat or dual fuel heat pump, Y, G, R, O, B, W, C. If you have a different configuration than what was previously mentioned, please contact Greenlight Technical Support for help with your installation. Gently remove each wire and make sure they don't fall back into the wall. Next, use the wire labels to mark which wire is connected to each terminal in your old thermostat. Remove the mounting screws from the base of your old thermostat and remove the base from the wall. If your old base screw locations do not fit the G-squared base, drill new holes and use the wall anchors to mount the new base. If you'd like to use the trim plate, now is the time to place it on the wall before mounting the base. Now all you need to do is connect each labeled wire with its corresponding terminal. Do this by pressing down on the lever next to the terminal and inserting the wire into the top hole of the corresponding terminal. If both RC and RH wires are present, you'll need to remove the red cap located next to the reset button. If you have both an O wire and a B wire, connect the B wire to the C terminal. For more details, you can refer to the wiring diagram in the appendix of your installation manual. Lastly, to complete the installation process, you'll need to securely fasten your G-squared to its base. Once it is clicked into place, return the power back onto your heating and cooling system.